American safety Jalen Catalan this week, who is ecstatic to step on that field today and take on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Good morning. Welcome into Arkansas Game Day. I'm Ty Richardson alongside Drew Barrett and Tommy Kraft. And Drew, you're live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, the fourth oldest Ford dealership in the country. That's right, Ty and Tommy. I'm happy to be here. There's energy throughout the Valley for today's game against Cincinnati. And the best place to do to come before you watch this game is right here at Randall Ford. They have over 200 vehicles on the lot, including once you walk into this building, you're going to have to walk around one of the coolest vehicles I have ever seen. It is a Randall Retro F-150. I mean, this thing looks like it, it transported from an um, 80s movie. It's got the cool lights on top. It's got blue and gray stripes on it. I mean, this thing is a bad vehicle and you can only get it right here at Randall Ford. You can't get it at any other Ford dealership in the area right here. If that's not what you're looking for, they've got Broncos, which they have just dropped the prices on all of them. New Raptors are here as well. So come see me. Come see the great people here at Randall Ford before the Hogs take on the Bearcats. Tommy, you got any Bud Lights back in studio? Or have you cracked any open? Yet. I wouldn't admit that publicly, but I did look in the <laughs> fridge. I went to get a water, and someone left a bunch of claws in there. I'm, I'm glad to take them home today. My kids will enjoy them. I, so. You can't be – did, did you just advocate for serving – Underage kids, alcohol? Oh, Man, come on. That's, that's not alcohol, that's not alcohol Ty. The, uh, Those are white claws. What's the number for, what's the the parenting police? I don't know what the, the Child FBA Protective is, Services. Yeah, child protect, yeah. They're getting a call after yeah. this show. I can't. Those are add, white claws, man. That's I not alcohol. I cannot <laughs> believe that you would advocate for serving underage kids. Well alcohol listen today's the day i need them to be quiet so daddy can watch football <laughs> that's what go. that's what needs to happen so, hey uh, listen there's nothing wrong with soaking the, the the baby kids with a little whiskey in their gums if you want to do that you can stop by sassy's red house here on college and we have plenty of curveball whiskey for you now Tommy, you just have to promise, if I bring a bottle of this back for you, you can't slug it all in one weekend like you did last <laughs> time. You had an excuse. Tommy, you had an excuse. Your daughter was getting married. The stress was at an all-time high. But you just have to promise that you'll be able to contain yourself. Well, have some have some discipline if I bring some of this you know, beautiful whiskey back. I'm known for I'm known for discipline, but hey, there's a lot to be excited about. The Hogs today at 2:30. We've we've talked about every angle of this game up. I think it's it's just exciting today. I've, I mean, my phone's been busy and active this morning. People texting, wanting to know, hey, where are you tailgating? What you doing? What are your plans? And I think you know you you got outside. It's not too hot. It's just about right, guys. It feels perfect for game one of the season today. Oh, man, walking outside, the breath of fresh air in Fayetteville, Arkansas, my boxers, it was glorious. There was nothing, Don't need no that sun big of a out, picture. Yeah. no sun, little fog. It was unbelievable. A little wind gust as well. And then driving around campus this morning, there's a buzz. There were so many people already setting their tents and tailgates up and had done the same since yesterday. And there is a palpable buzz here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, as the Cincinnati Bearcats are coming into town. A top 25 matchup that you have stated earlier this week. Kind of had that. You never had one in Fayetteville and have not had one since 1974 to open up the season at home. Not not in the state. So, uh, first time ever in Fayetteville. So, if you're going to today's game, it's, you know, to, to some degree historic. But listen, all of those things you just listed, which are factually accurate, mean nothing if you don't win the ball game no one's going to remember hey other than if you note it you know for, for just historical purposes down the road it won't mean a thing unless you win today so that's what uh, today has got to be all about is uh, fi figuring out how somehow and, I, and what i think may be one of the closest tightest games in the top 25 today uh for the hogs to come out on top drew i think you bring a unique perspective to this no conversation as a group of five guy and i know that you sometimes feel slighted as a memphis fan well <laughs> you're going to have that that same persona i think is going to be from a lot of cincinnati guys and my brother had conversations with several fans that came down from ohio there's actually going to be a good chunk of them because they want to see what an sec venue and sec game day is like but just kind of take us into a mind of a group of five opponent that's playing an sec team and what that's like well here's basically what it is and you're, you're going to to see a lot of Bearcat fans uh, throughout Fayetteville. I'm, I'm sure you've already seen a lot of them. You'll see a lot of them at the game. It's a fan base that travels very, very well. I don't think I've ever been to an away game where Cincinnati is playing 
that they have brought less than about 5,000. So I, I'm going to guess there's going to be a, about that, maybe even a little bit more in Fayetteville because you're right, it is a venue that you don't get to go to a lot. It's an SEC venue against an SEC team. But here's the mindset of, of at least the fan bases. You know, I can't you know talk for the players. But as a fan of a Group of Five team, when you get one of these opportunities to face it, go up against the SEC, it's not really a, a mindset of what a lot of people from the SEC would think. Oh, golly gee, I hope we win. I hope we hope we have a good showing and nobody gets hurt. Good golly goodness gracious, I'm we're glad to be you know on national television. It's not that. It, here, here's the mindset. The mindset is let's show these people that we play real football because for so many Group of Five fans they feel slighted they feel like nobody believes that they even play football they feel like people think that they got flags on and they're running around and it's basically intramural football like we're playing the ato house this weekend like that that's the mindset it's the mindset of show, coming into a place saying hey we belong here cincinnati showed that in the making the, to the college football playoff last year they want to continue to show not just arkansas not just the sec but the mm. world that hey we play football too it's time for you to notice well, Tommy, they ran, they got ran all over last year in that college football playoff, and that's what Arkansas is going to try and establish today. As you've talked about all week, you want to be able on that first drive to show that physical presence that Arkansas played with last year. And a lot of people got throat punched by Alabama last year, so what happened to Utah wasn't uh, – you know, they weren't the first to have that happen to them. But uh, that's exactly right, Ty. You've got to be able to run the football today, and that's probably what Luke Fickle is thinking just as much as what Sam Pittman and Kendall Browse are thinking that, hey – our quarterback has to have a good day. Uh, and, and for Arkansas, with the RPO and, and the expectation of K.J. Jefferson being such a large part of, of your ground game when it's all said and done, how that establishes in the first few possessions of the ball game will be something worth noting. And I want to see what the offense looks like early on from a passing standpoint because I think everyone knows that Luke Fickle and company, not, maybe not – are disrespecting the Arkansas wide receivers. But, Drew, I mean, you heard Sam Pittman say it earlier this week about what they're going to try to do to Arkansas's defensive line. I would think the same thing is going to be done to the Arkansas offensive line and K.J. Jefferson. They're going to try and make K.J. beat him with his arm today and trust that the, the wide receivers that have not been proven will stay unproven through this point. Yeah, that's the plan. If, if you're Luke Fickle, you load the box up, especially early, try to keep that run game going because we know – with us, with this offense, as great as KJ is, the run definitely sets up the pass, and we saw that a lot last year. Luke Fickle saw that on film that he's he's probably watched all thirteen games forwards, backwards, and sideways by by now. And he, him, and his staff they're they're ready to roll. They're going to stack the box, and they're going to basically tempt KJ. They're going to say, "Look, we're going to." keep you from beating us on the ground. We're going to keep you in the pocket. We're going to make you have to beat our DBs. Because even though they've lost probably the two best defensive backs in the Cincinnati history, I mean, Sauce Gardner is a first-round pick. I mean, that, that doesn't happen – very often when it, when it comes to University of Cincinnati, even though that is the case, they still feel very confident in the guys that they had coming back from last year, the new guys that they've got at those positions. So they feel confident they're going to run the game, same type of game plan that they would have last year with those guys. And, you know, if you're KJ, the mindset is, all right, you won't let me do it with my feet. I'm going to prove to you why I'm an SEC quarterback. I'm going to prove that I can throw it. And, you know, Hazelwood, Landers, uh, Warren Thompson, Trey Knox, they're, they've got to prove that – um, they can catch the ball, that it wasn't trailing Burks. I mean, Warren Thompson got open a lot last year but had some drop issues. So they've got to really prove that they can be a good to great wide receiver core, which, you know, all throughout camp and what we all believe is to be true. Yeah, and it, you know, I'm, I think I'm as interested in seeing Matt Landers today and how he plays – and the speed we've heard about, I want to see it on display, Drew, in, in game speed. I mean, that, I think that's the thing that uh, you, you talk about some of the new players and the unknowns. Matt Landers, to me, is uh, – we've you know, Matt Landers and Drew Sanders are the two guys I'm most excited to see because there's just so much unknown with me. Absolutely. Yeah, there really is. I mean, you, you feel the hype. You feel what they have around them. Now, obviously, Matt Landers coming from Toledo doesn't have the best ring to it, but you got to remember he was a Georgia recruit. Drew Sanders obviously coming over from Alabama and has been hailed as the guy that um, the coaching staff is really kicking themselves for letting get out the door. Um, so they are the most excited. And Matt Landers, I, I think, is going to have a unique 
uh, role in this offense. You know, we, me and Phil talked about it yesterday when we were talking about who, who do we think is going to lead the team in receiving touchdowns. And we both kind of agreed that it's either – it's probably going to be Hazelwood. You know, he, he just seems like that red zone type of presence. But I think Matt Landers is going to lead the team in receiving yards because of the way he can take the top off the defense, because of the speed that he has on that outside. I, I think it's going to be incredible, and I'm just so glad that it's finally here. We finally get to see it in here in a few short hours. What do you think? 877-377-6963. You're welcome to call or text at any point this morning. The Fayette or the Fayetteville campus right now is bumping. They're the the display last night from the lights outside of Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium was unbelievable. I know that you're excited to either drive up to the game, listen to the game right here on ESPN Arkansas, or hit that line.com or actually watch it in person. So we have you pre we have your pregame coverage the next five hours leading up to the two thirty kickoff. We're live at Randall Ford fifty five hundred Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. <laughs> You're listening to Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. Big weekend of college football getting back underway and a huge weekend of car selling going on right now at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Whether you're looking for an F-150 Platinum, whether you're looking for a Subaru Forester with a sports appearance package, how about a Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss package truck? We have those and more priced right just for you. Come by and see us at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith at Randall Ford. When you need a plumber, call the name you know and trust. Ashley Air. The same great people that take care of your heating and cooling system can also meet your plumbing needs. Right now, take $50 off any plumbing repair or get a $129 drain cleaning plus a two-year parts and labor warranty. Restrictions apply. If you have clogged drains, Ashley Air is the one to call. Go to AshleyAir.com to schedule your plumbing service. That's AshleyAir.com. Proud sponsors of Razorback Athletic. This is Arkansas Game Day. Make sure you have everything you need this weekend or any day at Four Corks Wine and Spirits. Choose from a wide selection of bourbons and whiskeys, craft beers, and a great selection of the coldest imports in town. Take advantage of the walk-in humidor for an A-list selection of cigars or enjoy the elegant climate-controlled wine cellar of hand-selected wines. It's all here at Four Corks Wine and Spirits, just past the intersection of Mazard and Zero Street towards Ben Garen Park. Four Corks Wine and Spirits. Champion Cycling, located at 5500 Massard Road, is a locally owned bike shop in Fort Smith that wants to help you find the joy in cycling that has been a part of their family for years. Their goal is to find the right bike for you, whether it's a road bike, mountain bike, or just a bike for leisure. Champion Cycling is totally stocked and has a large selection of bikes, including brands from Specialized, Pivot, and Look. Whether it's fixing a flat tire or a basic tune-up, their dependable service department is always ready to help. Stop by Champion Cycling today at 5500 Massard Road and they will help you find your joy in cycling. Fishing never stops. Make a wake bait and tackle has everything from jigs to raincoats, Todd Huckabee crappie rods, Bobby Garland crappie jigs, and stay warm and dry with the River West rain suit, the area's largest selection of Zoom plastics, Flash Mob Junior, Kitek swim baits, Mega Bass rods, plus rattle traps, life jackets, and rod and reel repair. Find all the top brands and everything you need at Make a Wake Bait and Tackle, one mile east of I 540 on Highway 64. Make a Wake Bait and Tackle. Do you have concerns about the integrity of your roof? Liberty Roofing of Fort Smith and the surrounding area is here and ready to serve you. Liberty Roofing is here for all your roofing needs. Quality roofing services, licensed, insured, and certified. Give Liberty Roofing a call at 650-6231 to get started for a free roof inspection and estimate. Call 650-6231. Liberty Roofing is here to tend to all your roofing needs. Let Liberty Roofing cover you. Check us out on Facebook. Ride without compromise. CF Moto's brand new U-Force 1000 XL with two three-person bench seats to haul more rear ends as you haul butt. Auto Finders in Adventure Oklahoma has the perfect CF Moto for any road you choose. Get some serious mud on the tires with aluminum rims, custom paint, power steering, and a 3,000-pound winch. No wonder the CF Moto is Auto Finders' best kept dirty little secret. Ride without compromise at Auto Finders in Adventure Oklahoma in Roland. Visit a complete list of inventories online at autofindersok.com. Your search ends here. 
High Tech Truck Refrigeration Service is all about God, family, and our country, and they proudly display the red, white, and blue. At High Tech, they specialize in truck and trailer repair, service, and are certified in refrigeration repair. And every day, give thanks to those who have served our country and paid the ultimate sacrifice for folks like you and me. High Tech Truck Refrigeration Service, located in Van Buren at 6410 Alma Highway or at 479-474-2220. In the field, it's good to have a friend you can count on. One that's hardworking, trustworthy, and always shows up. Just like LG Seeds. Our corn hybrids and soybean varieties deliver consistent performance across all your acres, giving you reliable yield you can expect. Start this season right with LG Seeds. Talk to your local dealer or visit lgseeds.com for more information. Building a home can be stressful. This is true whether you're the homeowner or the contractor. Many times these issues result in a lawsuit. If you are a homeowner or a contractor and find yourself needing legal help, call the attorneys at Kevin Hickey Law Partner. With experience representing homeowners as well as non-payment or other issues that could arise during construction. Contact Brad Hole or Kevin Hickey at 479-434-2414 in the River Valley or 479-802-6560 in Northwest Arkansas. Or check them out at the web at artriallawyers.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day Live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. And it is good! Arkansas wins! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. All right, it's Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on college. Got a couple of sound bites we're going to play for you coming up in just a bit. A couple players, a couple coaches from earlier this week talking about what's going to happen at 2.30 today, Drew. Yeah, that we do, but we've got – uh, we're here at Randall Ford here uh, here at 5500 Rogers Avenue right here in the heart of Fort Smith where we're going to talk with Jimmy here to talk about everything that's going on at Randall Ford. Man, can you tell me what y'all got going on right now? Man, right now, uh, we have so many cars, over 210 vehicles in uh, in stock. First thing you're going to see whenever you pull up to the dealership is our retro mm, F-150 that, that we have. Oh, it is sweet. So what that is, that's a brand new truck. It's a brand new 2022 we had it retrofitted with the, the roll bar, the KC lights, had it lifted, had some new tires and wheels put on it, the brush guard on the front. This thing looks good. So if you like that throwback look, then we have the mm-hmm. truck that's a one-of-a-kind right here at Randall Ford. Plus, on the showroom, we have a couple of uh, Broncos, full-size Broncos. We have a two-door. We also have a, uh, a four-door. The four-door is a 2021 first edition. Ooh. Won't we'll find any more of those. Won't we'll find okay. any more. Just right here at Randall Ford. Right here at Randall Ford. There's not another dealership around here that has one of those. So yeah, a lot of good. SUVs, a lot of good stuff, man. Yeah, it does. I mean, you got over 200 vehicles here on the lot. And I was told before the show that these Broncos look really nice, but y'all have dropped the prices on them already? Yeah, we've cut the prices. You know, when September and football uh, season hit, we decided, hey, let's uh, let's generate some uh, some business. So we've cut our prices back, and uh, we're very competitive in the market. We not only sell cars, but we also want to buy your car. So even if you don't want to buy a car today, just maybe want to sell yours. We're in the market to buy. Hey, you heard it right here. This is the perfect place to do it. They've got all the cars, some of the best salespeople in the state of Arkansas, and it's all right here at 5500 Rogers Avenue. You got your hog shirt on. This is hog pregame right now. What, what do you think? What's going to happen today? Man, you know, if you, if you talk to Billy Hines here, Billy's going to say that the Bearcats buy two touchdowns. But <laughs> if you talk to the other guys here, then they're, uh, they're going to tell you, you know, something different. Of course, Billy's an Alabama fan, so, <laughs> you know, that, that explains that. But, no, listen, I, I'm, I'm glad you guys are out here. I know that uh, Tommy and Ty both have been, you know, counting down the days and just been excited about it. We're excited to have you guys here i think the hogs win today i don't think it's going to be as easy as some people think but i think they i think they win and once they get their uh once they get their feet on the ground i think it's going to be a good season jimmy i'm just ready for mom and dad to wake up so i can open my christmas presents that's that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's where i'm at this morning <laughs> exactly right it's going to be a great year guys and hey uh tommy we need to uh we need to get you in here and uh look at maybe getting a truck uh 
uh, that uh, you can sport around uh, with a new fresh wrap on it. Oh, we're, we're, dude, we're way past that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about retro? That's uh, that's the next level up from retro. So. There you go, guys. That'll be a great. Ought to be a great season, man. Our team looks good. Isn't it nice waking up on on football morning with an established quarterback? a coach that actually wants to be here, that cares about this program, and an athletic director that has done phenomenal things at a school that, that we all love. It's uh, After suffering through the Chad Morris year and a half, year and three quarters, it just it feels good to actually be able to wear your hog shirt with a little pride, not to you know, use your name tag at work to cover up the hog on it right now. <laughs> Don't have to, kinda, you don't have to explain yourself anymore, Jimmy. I, I fully agree. You know, one of the things we talked about uh, a little bit last week was who was worse, John L. or Chad Morris? The fact that we're having that conversation <laughs> and debate shows you how putrid 2012 and then 2018 and 2019 were. The fact that we had to, as Hog fans, suffer through just an abysmal coaching staff, not just the – head coach but the staffs too part of that were just and I, less less on 2012 than 2018 2019 but my goodness it is it's good to be back and that's that's why Pittman always credits what does he do Tommy first thing well, every press conference I got a great staff great players he's always putting that bot front guys that's why a program is never going anywhere without a great head coach the right head coach for your program and a good quarterback if you don't have those two things you're probably not going to win as many games as you, as you hope Exactly right. You know, and isn't it nice that the fan base is, is strong and back? And then look at our entire program. I mean, football, basketball, baseball, you know, volleyball, track, uh, you know, softball. Our, our programs are on the upswing in every sense. And, you know, it, it starts with leadership. And I think that uh, I think your check has uh, done a great job and, of rebuilding it after, uh, you know, long you know, did so much to tear it down. So, hey, I'm, I'm just I'm just proud to be a Hog fan, and, and uh, I'm glad you guys are here today, man. Yeah, we're happy to have you. We'll, let's chat later on before we get out of here and get ready for the game. All right, Tommy, thanks. All right, Jimmy Haas, Randall Ford. Guys, it's uh, it's just a fun day uh, right now. And, you know, a lot of things, I know we're going to get some more of the, uh, you know, the, the, the nuts and bolts of today's game. But, you know, I just imagine, you know, over there on campus, and Ty, you got a feel there at Sassy's, you know, the, the smoke is starting to roll out of, the, out of the grills and the smokers. The, you know, the tailgates are getting set up. The beers are getting cracked. I mean, it's just, it's a reunion right now. It's a family reunion that's, that's uh, getting underway uh, at Donald W. Reynolds today. Can y'all smell that? From, oh, from, I mean, <laughs> from I mean the smell of char. I mean, is there a better? I mean, there's few smells in the world better than just freshly lit charcoal that you uh, kind of get a little bit of the lighter fluid smell. That that charcoal starting to gray a little bit. You can just hey, is it, is it, is it right yet to put the to put the bratwurst on yet? You know, you're trying to man. It's just it's a it's a fun day. So yeah, it's a. It's a day that more food, I would argue, that we always talk about Thanksgiving and 4th of July big, being f- big food holidays, but I would argue the opening day of Razorback football is right up there with it as a holiday with food and alcohol consumption. And a lot of good food is going to be cooked, not just here at Sassy's, but all around that stadium later on today. Tommy, I know, I know we're not going to get to it necessarily this segment, but we do want to tease this for as we come up at 10 o'clock. College football playoff moving to 12 teams as of yesterday. Now, this is going to start in – 2026, correct? Not at the latest. At the latest. So the okay. uh, the board of managers, which is the presidents and the chancellors, have told the commissioners to get this figured out. He can start it as soon as 24, but no later than 26. So changes are coming. Let's dive into some of the details coming up because I think it's good news if you're an Arkansas fan. You know, think about this for a second. We'll come back and chew on it. What are your odds of being in the top four? A lot less than being in a position to be one of the best 12. So... We'll get into the nuts and bolts of it coming up. Could not agree more. 877-377-6963 is our number. This is Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College, presented by Bud Light. And we've got some curveball barbecue whiskey here as well at Sassy's. Hour number two of Arkansas Game Day headed your way. Big weekend of college football getting back underway and a huge weekend of car selling going on right now at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Whether you're looking for an F-150 Platinum, whether you're looking for a Subaru Forester with a sports appearance package, how about a Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss package truck? 
we have those and more priced right just for you. Come by and see us at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith at Randall Ford. WT Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service. For high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators, WT Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, WTEquip.com. When you need to customize your ride, whether for work or play, check out River Valley Truck Outfitters. Full line of LED lights for your headlights to work lights, B&W hitches, toolboxes, ladder racks for all your work needs or play, grill guards to full front bumper replacements, full line of WeatherTech and Husky floor mats. Let River Valley Truck Outfitters get your window tinting on. Best prices and quality in the Fort Smith area. River Valley Truck Outfitters can get your ride ready on Highway South 71 on top of Rye Hill. 648-8855. That's 648-8855. Five, five. Call World of Wireless if you've recently lost your internet service in the Paris Subiaco area. World of Wireless, a local internet provider providing service since 2015 to rural Arkansas. We cover areas east of Fort Smith, south of Fort Smith, and rural areas with high speed internet with plans starting at $49.95 a month. But you got to call us, World of Wireless, 478 6616. It's 478 6616. If you've recently lost service from your internet provider, in and around Subiaco and Paris, call us 478 6616 or go to wowfastinternet.com. What do you get when you pull into Tony's Tire Service? You get the best selection of tires for any car, truck, or commercial vehicle. Tony's Tire Service has Cooper Tires and is ready to serve you to get you back on the road safely. They'll also get your vehicle fixed with brake replacements plus an alignment with the best repair guy in the area. Tony's Tire Service has been serving the River Valley for over 34 years. Come let our guys replace your tires with Cooper Tires and our service department to make sure the vehicle has the best brakes and alignments. Tony's Tire Service, 7200 South 28th Street in Fort Smith. Service you can depend on. Kids are back in school, and now it's time for mom and dad to have a no-sales tax furniture shopping spree. At Prank Row Furniture, starting August 12th through Labor Day weekend, Prank Row Furniture is going to pay your sales tax. That's right, sales tax paid on all made-in-the-USA furniture and on all appliances. Family-owned for 28 years, we have in-store no-credit check financing and service after the sale. Come see us at Prank Row Furniture. Best seats in the house. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Before you buy that next car or truck, stop by Broadway Motors in Van Buren. The best of the best for two straight years. Michael and his team offer the best prices on the best quality pre-owned vehicles in the River Valley. They invite you to stop by and check it out for yourself. Or if you prefer to check out their inventory online or even do your financing online. Michael has built his reputation as a husband, father, and owner-operator since 2006. Broadway Motors, 806 Broadway in Van Buren or online at broadwaymotorsar.com. Are you an experienced concrete finisher? Do you want to make the highest salary in the area? Do you want to get paid bonuses for your good work? Then Forsgren is for you. Apply now from any device, anytime, anywhere at GoForsgren.com. GoForsgren.com. Apply now at GoForsgren.com. Are you an experienced dump truck driver? Do you want to make the highest salary in the area? Do you want to get paid bonuses for your good work? Then Forsgren is for you. Apply now from any device, anytime, anywhere at GoForsgren.com. GoForsgren.com. Apply now at Go Forsgren.com. Cooler weather is on the horizon. If football games and fall festivals are on your list of things to do and places to go, make sure your vehicle's maintenance is up to date first. This is Mark with w Automotive. Keeping your car and truck on a seasonal maintenance schedule will ensure better gas mileage, better wear on your tires, and a safer trip wherever you go. To schedule a fall tune-up, call me or Kelly at 242-1600 or drop by w just off Townsend on South O in Fort Smith. That's w Automotive. K-E-R- Rex Paris Fort Smith. The Bud Light Countdown is on. Arkansas football begins today.
This is Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, the fourth oldest Ford dealership in America. Arkansas Game Day is brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Arkansas Athletics. It's going to be elite atmosphere. It's something you dream of as a kid to be able to play in atmospheres like this. It's going to be something great. September 3rd, when that ball set down, I know both teams are ready to go, and I know our squads are ready to go, so just ready to get it on. Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. Only four and a half more hours till Arkansas gets a chance to battle Cincinnati at 2.30 as we're live here at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College. Arkansas game day is presented by Bud Light. We've got some curveball whiskey up here at Sassy's as well. Gentlemen, we got some big college football news that I think we need to incorporate with Arkansas, as you were saying, Tommy. The fact that a 12-game playoff is now on the horizon. Yeah, the uh, board of managers, I, the, the presidents and the chancellors have given a an edict, more or less, to the college commissioners who it's their job and their task to figure out how to make it all function to incorporate a 12-team playoff by no later than 2026, and it can happen as soon as 2024. That seems like a stretch. I know that's a couple of years away, and there'd be a lot of hurdles that had to be cleared. Um, and the SEC is a big part of that that hurdle conversation. But here's how. Here's the nuts and bolts of it: twelve teams, the top six highest ranked, highest ranked conference champions get in, and then the next best six at large teams get in. Top four teams get buys. First round games are on home campuses. So December's going to get pretty exciting, guys, when you could have a college football playoff game on your campus in a matter of three or four years from now. Drew, that's what I think I'm most excited about because I've mentioned the idea of playing postseason college football at home. And we get a little bit of college basketball with the NIT, but it's not the same. I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to, to playing potentially a home game at Razorback Stadium. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how all this will shape out and form. Uh, on Fort, I, I'm I'm excited. I wanted expansion. I think the college. I think these administrators and uh, people at the CFP. I think they might have bit off a little bit more than they can chew. I don't know how this is going to work going straight from four to twelve. I I, I felt like twelve probably was where we're going to end up. But you need some trial period. You need to see how all this stuff figures out before you just, you know, triple the field. I would have liked to have seen them go to six or eight first and, and really start to build it out a little bit better. Uh, it's going to be a huge test to see how all these things work. When you look at a 12-team playoff, that's a lot of more games. I mean, guys, are we going back to a 10-11 game regular season schedule? Mm-hmm. Because we're, we're asking – these 18 to 22 year olds, and I, and I know that oh, with NIL deals and you are River. getting paid, they were asking to play an NFL. River. It's an NFL schedule, Tommy. I mean, that's a lot of football. Well, what do all these guys want to do, Drew? They want to play football. I get they it. They want to play in the NFL. I mean, you're talking about adding games to guys like you said, 19, 20, 21 year olds at a time of the year. Are there classes in December no. in the first week or two of January? No, there's not. There's not. I, I just think it's, like said, it's for, NIL deals. These aren't amateurs any longer. These are guys making tens of thousands of dollars, the stars at least, playing football. They need, let's be honest, they need more games of consequence to expand their brands. But here's what I like about it. Let's get back to, to the playoff structure itself. What are the odds of Arkansas being one of the four best? How many times is that going to happen in any of our lifetimes that a committee of 12 people or whatever is going to deem the Razorbacks as one of the four best in the country, considering your schedule, your conference, you know, the, the powers in the West. Wouldn't we all agree those odds are pretty limited? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, they have so not- the idea of being one of the 12 best and getting a shot and having some – some entrance ought to excite a lot of people in college football because there's only a handful that are going to be consistently a top four, top six type program in the country and just need a few things to fall their way. Arkansas's had some years in in our lifetimes in the last 15 years where, hey, you might be in the hunt for a, for a top 12 spot, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. You look at even the BCS era when they took the top two teams. To my knowledge, I don't think Arkansas was top four any of those years when they finished out those, so even if these top four, I know the college football playoff got started in 2014, 
with taking the four. I mean, Tommy, help me with this because I don't have as much knowledge on when the NCAA tournament expanded. For was it? Did it go from forty-eight to sixty-four and into sixty-eight? Is that Correct. how it went? Okay. Mm -hmm. What was the backlash and what were the conversations surrounding the expansion of that? Well, I mean, and that's been a number of years ago, so I don't know if I can give you the, the depth of the background, but it was about, you know, as, as college basketball as a sport grew, more teams, and there's, what, 300 and close to 40 teams that play Division One college basketball. I think it's 353. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it, it's grown, you know, continues to grow as, as programs move up. It's about having more seats at the table. And then, you know, as the, as the tournament and the, 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 the coin phrase March Madness continued to, uh, you know, to, to further its brand in our country, and people like to watch that. We've seen the growth in, in really the last 25 years of the tournament. So it was about what giving the people what they want. But ultimately, what was it about? It was about creating a product that now we see CBS and Turner share the TV rights on that was going to make the NCAA and its schools a lot of money. Let's not, you know, this isn't about getting eight more teams a seat at the table for the playoffs. I mean, ultimately, that's what's going to happen. But what's this really all about? Revenue. It's about money, 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 money. And that's why I think it's, it's very unlikely, at least from my seat, and they may, they may fast-track some stuff here, but you think about all the things that got to get out of the way to get the money in line because now you're going to have to have the bid process for that. Well, the S ESPN's got to figure out where are we going to be with the SEC. I mean, they're not the federal government. They can't just print more money uh, in Bristol, Connecticut. So they're going to have to figure out what's it going to cost for the SEC's package with our long-term rights deal because ESPN is going to be right in the middle of it, and I think ultimately you'll end up with split rights on this new college football no. playoff uh, format. But it's all about more money, guys. This isn't about more seats at the table. At the end of the day, all of this is being driven by the revenue. And that's better for college football to have these games on several different networks, in my opinion. But to your point, Tommy, Drew, think about this. Arkansas very much would be in contention for a top 12 seed this season and to have a home postseason game in Razorback Stadium. I just think about close to home. Memphis would have been a couple years ago as well. Mm -hmm. It just includes a lot more teams and the opportunity to, to what we now perceive as the only thing that fans want, which is a national championship, whether that's right or what that's wrong. The playoff has diminished big-time bowl wins, diminished the Rose Bowl, as Kurt Herbstreet said at the Little Rock Touchdown Club earlier this week. That's what it's done. This allows more teams to seat at the table, and as Tommy just said, the revenue is a big deal as well. But Arkansas, Drew, would very much be in contention right now this season. Yeah, that they would. I mean, they're, they're in contention for a top 12 spot. I think we can all agree on that and whether, you know, that's 11-1 and one or 10-2. Well, I mean, heck, we're going to find out a little bit later today we, if that's we a true are, statement. You're exactly right. We are going to find out today. We still have to well, – um, unfortunately, Tommy, we still have to play the games, right? Well, they still yeah. have to keep score before we can go ahead and put Arkansas as a top 12 program. But – I do like the fact that it is more seats at the table. It gives more people a chance to to win a national championship, whether that's real or perceived. I mean, we talk, you just talk about the NCAA tournament. 353 teams every season in October can say, we technically have a shot to win a national championship. No, they don't. You can't say – I, I <laughs> but they don't in reality, but technically yeah. they do because they can get in. No, I get They you, can though. get into the tournament. Technically they can. We have college football Division One 1A now, or FBS, whatever, you, whichever way you like to call it, where you can't say that for half of your teams. you Only 60 no. programs can technically even have a shot at it. So – Allowing people just to have the Tommy, it's true. about I mean, hope, man. Just I mean, give me this. It's listen, about having but, hope. But that's not true, Drew, because Cincinnati was in the playoff last that year. That is not true. one of the sixty teams, so that that doesn't hold water with with, with me because I, we just saw last year in the team Arkansas played today or is playing today was in that college football but it, playoff. It, it took three years. They had to put uh, together a 10-2 2019 season. They had to put it an uh, undefeated 2020 season. And then a 2021 season where not only did they have to do everything right, they needed people to fall. It took three combined years for them to get a shot. Well, now everybody can Dame. say, we do what we can Indiana. do now. It took them beating people that matter. I mean, here's the thing we need to think about. 2006, 2010. 2011. Imagine the rules that we're going to have come in place in a few years if the college football playoff existed in those seasons. 
I don't think Arkansas is going to be a program, at least until proven otherwise, will perennially be one of these top 12. I sure hope they are. But I think about this. We've seen just three seasons I've listed in the, in the last, what would that be, 16 years or so, that Arkansas would have fit right into this model we're talking about. I mean, I remember in 10 and 11, watching the BCS reveal show on Sunday nights was appointment TV. Centered my weekend around it after the game. I mean, you would have been in the mix then. So that's the thing that I like. And guess what? You never made the championship game. You had a really good football team. You know, Now you'll have a seat at the table if you have that kind of year again. And maybe you can get to a point where that kind of year becomes more the norm and less of the exception. What do you think about the college football playoff shifting from four teams to 12? 877-377-6963. We'll hop back into this, but I want to talk more about this game later on today Luke Fickle Tommy was talking about game day atmospheres earlier this week and they play in the college football playoff which is a neutral side it's a big time game it's the biggest outside of just the national championship but he said heading into an SEC venue it's a little different hear what Fickle said about this game atmosphere earlier this week. We started probably last week at really kind of talking about the environment, talking about the atmosphere, making sure we're aware of, of uh, you know, what it's going to be like. I can't exactly tell them because I've never been there. Uh, obviously, I've, you know, heard and, and talked to a lot of other people, but it's one of those things it's hard to prepare for. He also mentioned that he felt like his team was a little uh, overwhelmed with that presence last year in the college football playoff. He didn't feel like it was just Alabama, but they were uh, not up to the task of doing that atmosphere. Do you think they learned from last year heading into Fayetteville today, guys? Well, I think they know they're not playing Alabama today, and they do know it'll be a, a tough atmosphere, but I think they feel more confident because they're not playing Alabama. I mean, the difference in Bama and Georgia and, and then the rest of the college football world was line of scrimmage play and particularly along the defensive line. So, uh, I mean, Cincinnati wasn't the first to fall to, to Alabama but just because they got dominated at the line of scrimmage. And, oh, let's not leave out a Heisman Trophy quarterback either uh, in the conversation. So, uh, yeah, I think Cincinnati's more confident coming into today. And a lot of it's because, you know, they're not playing Alabama today. That always helps when you're going up there. But let's be honest, guys. Arkansas, when it comes to running the football, they, they were better than Bama last year. And that's where they're going to try and do later on this afternoon. Now, they don't have – Bryce Young, I love me some KJ, but he ain't Bryce Young. You know, I have Jamison Williams and John Mechie on the outside here. I guess mm -hmm. Mechie might have been injured that game. But that's going to be a, a, a task again that I'm wondering if Cincinnati, with all the pieces they lost, we can talk about them feeling disrespected heading into this game. And I know that they have that offensive line with five returning starters. But when you lose 11 guys to the NFL, I don't care if you're Alabama and I don't care if you're Cincinnati. That's a big loss, fellas. Yeah. And, you know, K.J.'s going to be a handful. Fickle talked about that earlier this week, and he knows that K.J.'s going to be a load for them. He is very dynamic at what he does, and uh, he can throw the ball. I think he's getting better and better at that, but he is a dual-threat guy. And not just is he a dual-threat guy to run, he's a dual-threat guy to run you over. And I think the unique thing about it is when, when quarterbacks not just are willing but able to run downhill, not just laterally, to me, they put a lot more pressure on defenses. Drew, we talked about this during the week. How do you emulate KJ in practice for a lot of teams? What do you do? Move a tight end? Bring a <laughs> linebacker over? I mean, that's the difficulties. How do you train and scout? You know, how do you work your your number one defense against a scout team and emulate KJ Jefferson? That's hard to do. He runs that RPO, but Drew, at the end of the, at the end of the play, he's a load to tackle. I mean, I think that's maybe particularly early in the year the the hardest thing to prepare for with KJ is getting him to the ground. Yeah, that's the main thing. I mean, you can you can have your backup quarterback, and you have a guy like that in, in Evan Prater. He's not going to be the starter today. It's going to be Ben Bryant it was being reported earlier this morning. But you have a guy like Evan Prater who is a dual-threat quarterback. He can show you some tendencies. He can show you what he's like. But to, uh, to borrow a phrase from our, our good friend Eddie in Clarksville, it, it's hard. It's hard to train for when the hog trains are rolling down the tracks, and the hog train being KJ Jefferson here. It, it's hard to play against a quarterback who isn't going to take a QB slide, isn't going to tiptoe out of bounds. He's a guy that's going to try to run you over. He's a guy that's going to get every single yard he can out of you. If that means he's got to put a few extra knees in your chin, in your chin strap, and by golly, he's going to do it. He's going to run you over. It's hard to really practice for the physicality that K.J. Jefferson brings. I think they've 
probably have done a decent job of tendencies and kind of saying, all right, this is what he, he'll do if we pressure him from the right side, from the left side, we come up the middle, this might be what he's going to do. But until you face a physical body of, you know, 230-pound quarterback, you're just not going to know what's going you, you, to – fra quite frankly, you're not going to know what hit you. Similar to Darren McFadden, K.J. Jefferson also seeks out contact, and that is uh, not fun if you're the opposing DB or safety. This is Arkansas Game Day live from Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College. When we come back, we'll get more in to this Arkansas-Cincinnati matchup later on at 2.30 today. <laughs> You're listening to Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. Big weekend of college football getting back underway and a huge weekend of car selling going on right now at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Whether you're looking for an F-150 Platinum, whether you're looking for a Subaru Forester with a sports appearance package, how about a Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss package truck? We have those and more. Priced right just for you. Come by and see us at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith at Randall Ford. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. This is Arkansas Game Day. Growing up, my parents always encouraged me to do what's right, even if it wasn't easy. I'd always hear my mother's voice say, Do the right thing. That stuck with me. Every day, just do the right thing. That's it. The rest takes care of itself. At Shelter Insurance, we believe in doing the right thing for our customers and our communities. As Wade Gilkey and Fort Smith about Shelter's home insurance. Late breaking news. Central Hydraulics has teamed up with Wacker Newson to meet your ever-growing equipment needs. Wacker Newson offers loaders, excavators, skid steers, telehandlers, and more. Central Hydraulics is also your Gates Hydraulic Hose Center. Stop by today at 6104 Highway 271 South in Fort Smith. Central Hydraulics, helping you move the world. When it comes to your gas bill, one size does not fit all. So AOG offers many payment options. Did you know you can arrange to pay online with the click of a mouse or pay by phone? You can even sign up for automatic bill payment from your checking or savings account. AOG also has a paperless billing option to reduce that clutter in your mailbox. Of course, you can bring your payment to our 24-hour drop box or to one of many convenient locations throughout our service area. To find a payment option that's a perfect fit, visit AOGC.com. You know the Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment in Fort Smith is your go-to shop for everything pressure washers. But did you know that they also handle your industrial pump and supply needs too? It doesn't stop there. Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment's industrial vacuum trucks can handle dry, liquid, and even sludge removal from several hundred feet away. Leave the cleanup to the professionals. Contact Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment at 782-3762. That's 782-3762. Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment, 3116 Wheeler Avenue in Fort Smith. Needing your roof repaired? Ramos Roofing is a local company that has over 25 years of experience specializing in your residential or commercial roofing needs in the Oklahoma area. Ramos Roofing, a company you can trust. Offering discounts to senior citizens, law enforcement, or health care workers and assists in your insurance claims. Ramos Roofing, standing behind their work so you can stand under it. Call 479-420-9903. That's 420-9903. Ramos Roofing, working with you to build a better home. Are you looking for a great deal on a previously owned vehicle but want to avoid high pressure sales? If so, you need to visit Edwards Auto Sales in Roland. For over 30 years, Ernie Edwards and his staff have helped folks from Arkansas and Oklahoma River Valley buy a quality vehicle and offer a buy here, pay here program as part of their services. Some restrictions may apply. Come visit Edwards Auto Center newly remodeled facility three miles west of the Garrison Bridge, the first car dealer on your right, or log on at edwardsautosalesinc.com. 
Hi, this is Lindsay White with White Office Machines. For over 90 years, my family's been serving the greater Fort Smith region with the image industry's newest technologies, as well as providing superior customer service through long-term business relationships. As the area's only authorized Kyocera document solutions dealer, White Office Machines provides the best value with high-speed copiers and the latest multifunction printers. Stop by our office in downtown Fort Smith or in Russellville. Follow us on Facebook or go to whiteoffice.com. White Office Machines, since 1929. Why do people love Shamrock Liquor Warehouse? Simple. They've got it all. 70 years in business, 15,000 square feet of choices. They buy in volume so you can save. What else? How about the largest selection of everything? Shamrock's got it. Special orders? Shamrock's got it. Convenient drive through open six days a week? Shamrock's got it. Need a keg for your party? Shamrock's got it. Load up at Shamrock Liquor Warehouse at the corner of Midland and Riverfront Drive in Fort Smith. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day Live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. And it is good! Arkansas wins! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. All right, back here at Randall 4, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College. Gentlemen, I was telling you in the break, I don't really consider myself as a fan of Bloody Marys. Y'all don't either. I don't think it was pretty consensus between the three of us that we don't exactly like Bloody Big Marys. tomato juice guy. Yeah. I like the pickled but, okra that's in yeah. it a few times, uh, but I'm normally just – Pick it out, hold my nose, and drink the vodka. Uh, it's probably because I hadn't had a good Bloody Mary's the problem, Ty. Well, and that's the uh, that's the thing, man. They they stopped by the the ladies here at Curveball Whiskey, stopped by with an, uh, kind of a Bloody Mary shooter. And I was like, man, I really don't like these. And it's like, you owe this one. And it's with the Curveball Barbecue Whiskey. Guys, It you can't even taste the tomato juice. You just taste like you're tasting a barbecue drink, and it is, it is good. I will not make me a Bloody Mary without – just the normal stuff, but I will make it with something like this. So if someone's driving in right now from, you know, up 49 or over on 412 or wherever you're listing driving in today, um, and when you get to Northwest Arkansas, 99.5 is the radio station to, to hear all of this continue before and after the game. Stop by Sassy's. You're at the original Red House on College. Y'all got samples and, of course, Sassy's full menu and great, great food as well. Oh, yeah. We just had uh, Bob and Freddie stop by. i got a few other people that have texted me that they're on their way as well. So we're going to have a full house here at Sassy's Red House on College in just a bit. So people are getting excited for this game today, fellas, and for good reason. It's just nice to have a top 25 matchup to open up the season. Say what you want about just getting knowing you're going to go into a win with a cupcake that's walking into Donald W. But I I really I'm kind of like what's Chuck been saying. All He's been preaching it all week. This is better for you as a program when you have this caliber of team stepping foot into your stadium week one. Yeah, I'm watching College Game Day. Got that on the monitor here. I'm sure you got the TVs going there. They're yep. doing a feature right now on KJ, and uh, they just showed Cincinnati in their team hotel eating their meal. And uh, now they're they're just they've run about five or six plays with KJ and just what he brings to the table with the RPO and the play actions, and then throwing the deep ball today. So. Well, that'd be a great way to start that game today, him uh, maybe fake it to Rocket and then uh, hit Landers or Hazelwood or someone going down for for a big chunk play to start the game. That would set that stadium on its side to to begin the day. Drew, if I think if Desmond Howard calls KJ, AJ (laughs) one more time, I'm going to jump through the TV and strangle him. I I am so sick of hearing him say AJ Jefferson on that telecast. Well, Desmond Howard, he's been getting a lot of flack for a lot of things here lately. I mean, it doesn't shock me that he's made one more mistake. It's not as uh, the, that mistake isn't as ugly as his golf swing uh, earlier this week, but it's pretty close. But hopefully, with his name up on the screen, I don't think he'll uh, he shouldn't make make that mistake anymore. I've never had a reason, Tommy, to hate Desmond Howard until this year, and he has just spewed <laughs> the most idiotic things in college football. I mean, his playoffs yeah. the most atrocious thing I've ever seen, he and is. I know he's just trying to get attention. But then you can't even call one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC by his name. I mean, dude. Let's go. You're he's a college football a analyst. He's just trying to get you. He's just trying. He's just trying to get you fired up. And he and he mm-hmm. and he, he he won. You lost. So I mean that that that's exactly all he's trying to do is get people talking. Well, the well, thing with Desmond I, Howard that I've noticed, you know, over the last few years, and it became really relevant relevant uh, this morning when I was watching a little bit of college game day before heading over here to Randall Ford. 
He has to be the least well-researched analyst <laughs> on that show. He does not mm. know anything. I mean, they were doing, uh, I think it was, um, where are they now with the transfer quarterbacks? And, you know, Herb Street, Fowler, they all listed. They went boom, boom, boom. They did three, four. Desmond Howard had to keep getting new guys because he didn't know anything. I mean, like, dude, you're on the best or the number one pregame show in the nation. And you're the least well-researched guy. I mean, they David got, Pollock, Kirk, Herb Streak, and Fowl are all just blew him out of the water. And they got research teams too. Yeah, Tommy. Now, hey, did you hear? I put this sound bite clip yesterday. I don't think we have this. We might play it a little later in the show. Did you hear Corso what he said about the Arkansas Cincinnati game? Did you hear that just yet? No, I haven't. I have he, not. He. Uh, we, we need to play that later on in the show. I'll send it to you. But uh, he was very vocal on what he thinks Arkansas is going to do to to Cincinnati later on today i really appreciated his uh his thoughts on so, that so you you like game. him when when he says something good about your team and you don't like him when he doesn't is that is that how it works i, I mean typically <laughs> corso doesn't bash arkansas mm -hmm. i mean if you want to find an example feel free but that i don't remember a moment or something where he's just like arkansas sucks or they're gonna get killed or blah, blah, blah. i mean if you pick a team to lose you pick them to lose it happens it's part of it my favorite thing is when the college game day set goes all against arkansas because you might as well bet the house on the Razorbacks because they're either going to cover or win that game. It's not. It's never a good thing when every analyst picks for you, right? That's the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. But when they all go against you, it's like, all right, Arkansas is going to win now. So uh, looking at this game today, 2.30, we'll have it right here. Hit that line.com, all of the ESP and Arkansas stations. Coach has been talking. We're going to have Clay Henry coming in about 30 minutes. He's known for his keys to the game. We'll, we'll pry a few out of him. Is it that defensive line? That that's the number one thing, and them getting the stops. That's what. Listen to what coach had to say this week, and uh, we'll see if we, uh, you know, agree with with what the head hog has to say. That's going to be a big challenge. You don't see many guys that have five returning starters up front, and all the starts that they have in there. We're, we're fortunate that we have four. You know, on our offensive line, we don't. However, on our D line, so that'll be a key part, in my opinion, to the way the well, way the ball game goes. If I was Cincinnati, I'd come in there and turn the turn around, hand the football off, and see if we can stop the run. We'll see if we can or not. Is that I don't the biggest it, deal? It's not close. It's not even close. I mean, Pimmons talked about the defensive line all fall. It's it, it's not even a, a debate on what the big – you can't call it a weakness because you had not seen it, but it's the biggest question mark of your team. I, I honestly, guys, don't think it's close mm. when it comes to the debate of Arkansas football this year. If you have a good defensive line, fellas, you're going to win ten games. If you don't – You'll probably be more in that seven, eight, nine category. Yeah. But if that defensive line overperforms, you'll hit double digits this year. Well, here, here's another thing about the offensive line. You know, me and Phil on halftime, we had Dan Hoard, the voice of Cincinnati Bearcats and the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, on the show, and I asked him about that being the major talking point that we and a lot of me national media have talked about is that offensive line coming back. How many experience? How many starts you have? And he told us it's not good. While you have all five back. They're not all five going to be starting, you know. The the right guard is now moving to your right tackle. You're having some new guys mixed in there. So not only do they have the experience coming back, they feel like they, they have better reserves than the guys that they had starting in the college football playoff last year against Alabama. The O-line is a nasty position for Luke Fickle and the Bearcats. So it's not just the returning five. It's the, it, it's the last year's uh, replacements who have become starters over the starters. Yeah, and I'll be interested to, to see today, I mean, two veteran lines, which which veteran offensive line wins the day? And I think, I tend to think, and it's probably our Arkansas slant, Arkansas's just got the better skill people. We look at the wide receivers, we look at KJ at the quarterback, and just start and stop the conversation there. Arkansas is, and I think we know it's going to be Bryant, but, uh, you know, based on some things Chuck said yesterday and just kind of reading a few articles from them, but, you know, Arkansas has been settled at quarterback for a while, you know. Cincinnati has not been so uh, if the lines are similar or almost equal don't you got to tip the edge to the to the team that's a at home and b seems to have the better collection of skill players I don't think there's any question about that Tommy now Ritter still slinging the ball for Cincinnati I think we're having a different debate at 10 30 this morning but he's not he's off throwing it for the Atlanta Falcons this Bryant kid was back up for three years has shipped him off to eastern Michigan Came on back, and I know the – and, Drew, you said his name earlier. What's the other kid's last name? Evan Prater. His, Prater is more of the speedster and gives you more of a running ability. But, I mean, Brian only had like a 14-7 to touchdown to interception ratio last year, so it's not like he was blowing the doors off at 
Eastern Michigan, Eastern Illinois, or wherever he was. So Eastern Michigan. I don't think I don't think Arkansas is going to be that scared of him today. I think Barry Odom is going to try and confuse him, give him some looks. And here's the other thing: that crowd, that crowd's going to be fired up. They've been itching for Arkansas football. You've had to wait ten years for a team that you thought was worthy of your time. And I'm talking about a team that's going to be a potential SEC West contender. That's what this team is. And so that being said, you think this crowd's going to back off, even if it's Cincinnati coming out? They're going to give that quarterback and that team a living you-know-what. So that crowd's going to be a factor. And I don't think Bryant's ready for what this – because he doesn't have the skill position players, like you said, Tommy, and the fact that he's basically starting his first game inside of one of the tougher Mm -hmm. venues and more underrated venues in all of college football. Here's what Jalen Catalan said about having to prepare – for two quarterbacks over the last 10 days or so. So with the Eastern Michigan guy, he's more of a thrower. He's a really good quarterback. He can read and make make the throws and make everything on the field. So we just got to cover up and make sure we know our assignments. And with the other guy, I feel like he's more of a runner. But, you know, I was saying, like, we haven't seen him since last season in film, so we don't know if he's if going to throw it or run it. We don't know the game plans for him. But I know Coach Odom's putting a great, you know, great scheme for us, so we'll be ready for both when the game comes. That's exactly. Uh, I mean, I, again, we 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 think it's going to be Bryant uh, more than Prater uh, today, but uh, you know, it kind of gives you a little insight about what they're preparing for and what at least the, the captain of the defense is thinking, or one of the two captains of the defense is thinking about uh, how you approach each quarterback. Yeah, they're going to be ready for both, and you might see both. Now, Fickle is saying that he thinks he's going to roll with one, and I know. Drew talked about it earlier, reported this morning. It's going to be Bryant, but don't be surprised if you see Prater a little bit later on today. This is Arkansas Game Day, live from Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, and Sassy's Red House on College, presented by Bud Light. We got some curveball whiskey up here as well. If you've got some thoughts on the game later on today, give us your call, give us a text, 877 377 6963. We're going to have Clay Henry coming up and a lot more to get to live right here on ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. You never know what you will walk up on or find over the hill at the Tackle Box. For almost 50 years, the Tackle Box has been your home for hunting and fishing supplies and some of the best outdoor stories. Whether guns, ammo, fishing supplies, or home decor, come back and see them again. They even buy your old fishing tackle or guns. The Tackle Box, your sports store for hunting, fishing, firearms, and more. 3010 Street, Fort Smith, 646-3193. The adventure starts at the Tackle Box for sportsmen just like you. The good old summertime is here, and Jelco Outdoors has all your fishing gear for summer trips at the lake or river. Check out the fishing kayaks by Old Town and New Canoe. Summer savings up to $300 off select models. Get ready for fall archery season now with a new bow by Hoyt, Matthews, Elite, and Bowtech. Jelco has the largest selection of box blinds for fall hunting. Come see us at Jelco Outdoors during the good old summertime. Jelco Outdoors, 4600 South Zero in Fort Smith. This is Matt Blaylock for Blaylock Heating and Air and Plumbing Services. We are proud to be a locally owned and operated Fort Smith-based business for over 35 years. We've seen many changes since 1983, but one thing that has stayed the same is our mission to provide the highest quality products, sales, installation, and service to the people we serve, and to give our customers every reason to accept and recommend Blaylock Heating and Air and Plumbing Services as their heating and air and plumbing company. To get a red truck rolling your way, just give us a call at 782-8940. That's 782-8940. When it comes to your gas bill, one size does not fit all. So AOG offers many payment options. Did you know you can arrange to pay online with the click of a mouse or pay by phone? You can even sign up for automatic bill payment from your checking or savings account. AOG also has a paperless billing option to reduce that clutter in your mailbox. Of course, you can bring your payment to our 24-hour drop box or to one of many convenient locations throughout our service area. To find a payment option that's a perfect fit, visit AOGC.com. Family first. My dad used to tell us that all the time. But Family First wasn't just something he'd say to us. It was how he lived every day of his life. And it's how I try to live mine, too. At Shelter Insurance, our agents are dedicated to helping provide personalized auto, home, and life protection that puts your family first. Ask Shelter agents Ted McAvoy or Jeff Clark about a free insurance review. 
Why do people do business with First Western? Because First Western builds relationships with all of their customers. They partner for the long haul to help you with your financial goals over all seasons of life. First Western is prompt, responsive, and they deliver with quick answers and on-time loan closings. When is the last time your banker called you? If you are looking for a high level of service and a financial partner who will listen and respond, try First Western. For more information, visit them online at firstwestern.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Are you a qualified CDL driver with local or over-the-road experience? Tired of driving older equipment? Not having enough home time? Feel like a number? You need Patriot Transport. Patriot Transport, based in Centerville, with locations in Russellville and Van Buren, provides you with late model equipment, has a family atmosphere, and provides you the opportunity to make $95,000 per year. Patriot Transport works with you to get the miles you want and the family time you need. Change your life today. Visit PatriotTransport.com to apply. That's PatriotTransport.com. Make sure you have everything you need this weekend or any day at Four Corks Wine and Spirits. Choose from a wide selection of bourbons and whiskeys, craft beers, and a great selection of the coldest imports in town. Take advantage of the walk-in humidor for an A-list selection of cigars or enjoy the elegant, climate-controlled wine cellar of hand-selected wines. It's all here at Four Corks Wine and Spirits, just past the intersection of Mazard and Zero Street towards Ben Garen Park. Four Corks Wine and Spirits. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day Live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. And it is good! Arkansas wins! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. All right, it's Arkansas Game Day live at Randall for 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College. And we've been talking a little Arkansas football, and for good reason this morning. That's one of the premier games of the day, Tommy, and it's just nice to have it back, baby. Yeah. Drew, it's a big Labor Day weekend at Randall Ford. I know they've got a lot of units. You were talking earlier, they've marked down the Broncos for this weekend. Oh, yeah, that they have, and they've got a few, uh, two of them right here in the showroom. they got plenty here on the lot with over 200 vehicles uh, here at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue, right here in the heart of Ford Smith in the River Valley. you got to come see the Broncos. They've got new Raptors as well, and, man, you at least just need to take a picture if you don't want to just outright buy this thing, this bad retro F-150. I put a picture up on our socials. It's on, and you can check it out at, uh, at the Hit That Line uh, AR on Twitter of this retro blue and gray F-150s uh, as well. So they've got everything that you could possibly want. And as Jimmy told us last hour, not only are they wanting to sell you a car, but they want to buy it too. So if, you, if you're not in the market for a new car, if you just want to come out here and sell a car, the perfect place to do it is right here at Randall Ford. Guys, we were talking about Jalen Catalan a little bit earlier. He was actually here at Sassy's Red House about a week or so ago doing stuff for Allen and his crew. I think Jalen, we saw in game one last season, was the difference maker. you got to remember, that game was 17-all in the fourth quarter, and he gets two interceptions and really puts the game away. I know K.J. Jefferson's the number one, the other number one that we'll be talking a lot about today. But, Tommy, we, we, we saw how much of a difference this guy makes, and I think he's going to set the tone from game one. I think he's going to cause Bryant some havoc and some frustration later on at 2.30. Yeah, I mean, and I agree with that. And I think Catalan's got to be the, you know, he's one of your two captains. But I think he's, you know, we had this bite, I think, while you were gone, but him just being so anxious to play, you know, chomping at the bit with the fact that, you know, he missed seven games counting the bowl last year. Um, it's been a long wait for Catalan to get out on the field. And uh, I imagine today he's, uh, you know, he's just itching to get back to the game that he's, he's been taken away from since midway point last year. I know who's itching for this game later on today. That is JW in London. JW, you were talking to Tommy a little bit about the offensive and defensive line and some of the, yeah, the questions yeah. you have about After that. After game day, you all, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, let's face it, and I hope I'm wrong, but when you've got five returning seniors, part of them are going to be draft picks. The chances of us really getting to the quarterback are pretty slim. So that puts an awful lot of pressure on the group that I think is going to decide the game. And that's the linebackers and the defensive secondary. How, I mean, how can you stay out of trouble? Can you get, keep from getting the interference penalty? 
Can you get the pick when you need to get it? Can you gamble when you know that you know that it's the time to gamble? And I think that's going to turn the game. You know, you mentioned Jay, the Catalan is going to be a difference maker, but I think you've got to have that whole backfield being the difference makers. All six of those people have got to do their job because that's what's going to frustrate the quarterback. I think he's going to sit back there and have plenty of time to throw. I just, you know, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. But, you know, if he's had guys there for five years taking care of they know what they're doing. And anyway, I'll, I'll give your thoughts on that and go home. All right, J.W. I, guys, I think J.W.'s right, but I think that's going to be right a lot of weeks where you're depending <laughs> on the secondary and the linebackers because I think that's where your better players are. So I agree with you, J.W., but I don't think that's exclusive to this week. And, yes, you do have a challenge, but – Let's face it, Cincinnati is not going to be the best offensive line guys that the Razorbacks face all year. Uh, but I agree with this, what J.W. is saying, but I think it's mainly because your best personnel are at the second and third levels of the defense. And we have put a lot of pressure on the defensive line, Drew, but it's also on the linebackers to make that first level of tackles. It's also on the safeties to make the right keys and, and make the right reads on um, the angles to take. So. Uh, it, it's a it's a cohesive unit, and I I know I've been very upfront about how I feel about the defensive line and what they need to do this year. But we just kind of expect the safeties and the linebackers because Pool and Catalan are part of that. But we can't overlook the assignments that they have as well. No, you can. I mean, that's the great thing about football. It, it, it's eleven guys doing their job for an ultimate goal, and, and that's to stop the offense. When you're when you're talking about the defense, but the defensive line, it, it is a series of concern because for most of the season last year, it was probably it was your weakest spot uh, on the defensive side of the ball. So you you want to see improvement there. You want to see that you have some stability there and guys that you can that you can count on because. It's really hard for to ask guys to to really cover the way that they've covered, and for as long as that they had to last year in some spots at some different parts of the game. So you you need to get that good pressure and that good start up front because I know it's a cliche, but you, you listen to anybody's keys of the game. Ninety nine out of a hundred games, somebody's gonna have this as their three keys of the game. It's all all starts up front. It all starts in the trenches. Well, yeah, it's cliche, but it's, it is so true, especially in a hard hitting, you know, could be somewhat of a three yards in a cloud of dust type of game here that we're going to see between Arkansas and Cincinnati. Yeah, and I'd like to think that we were smart enough last year to say, hey, you know, Williams and Ridgeway and, and the other side with Williams, man, these transfers are going to come in here and they're going to be the anchor of the defense. And you watch out this first month, they're going to give Texas and Texas A&M a lot of trouble to start the season. Uh, there, were, there were questions and uncertainties because it was the unknown even going into last year. We were hopeful. But, you know, maybe maybe it'll be the same way. I, I think if you want to be optimistic about it, maybe you're hopeful and, and you do know more and you'd have more information on Isaiah Nichols and Eric Gregory and Zach Williams and maybe a little less about Jashad Stewart. I mean, those guys need to play well. But I don't think we were comfortable and certain how a guy like John Ridgway was going to play. And he, I think he outperformed our expectations early in the year last year. I agree. Last thing before we go and hit a break, how much does Arkansas gain today if they beat Cincinnati? Because the the haters will say, well, it's just a group of five team. They lost 11 guys. And maybe the two positives, like, oh, man, you just beat a team that was in the college football play. What does Arkansas gain if they win later on at 2.30 today? As far as spots in the AP? Spots or? in the AP, uh, just the overall thoughts of your football team. What do they gain later today? Well, I think that, you know, just – with, with the top 25 win, that, that normally guarantees you about three, four spots of movement. Um, it does all depend on what kind of happens in front. But I think that if Arkansas gets the win, and it's definitely a good win, um, you know, talk about Arkansas pulling away late or, you know, winning by a double-digit 10-plus margin, uh, I think that we'll wake up and Arkansas will be somewhere around the 16-17 line on Monday. Um, but as far as I think it will show that Arkansas will have that national respect, that last year wasn't a fluke, you know, that last year um, wasn't just a, um, a flash-in-the-pan type of season, that Sam Pittman is the real deal, that he can not only start to build a program, but he can keep the success going. I know it's only one game in, but I think that narrative will really start to – play out to where it will show that Sam Pittman not only was the right decision, but is the right guy going forward. Well, the winner today stays in the poll. The loser's out of the poll, in all, in all likelihood, because they're you know on the, on the bottom third of the poll anyway, right around 20 to 21, 23, depending on which poll you're looking at um, with both of these teams. But for me, 
what comes out of today is it keeps nine wins in play and perhaps ten wins in play. I, I just don't see a scenario, guys, where you're going to win – nine or ten ball games without winning this one this week and probably next week and starting at least three and oh but because i know what you know we all know what's ahead so to me that's what the payoff is today a nine or ten win season is still in play because you got this important win under your belt and i think you gained some confidence because this is a quality opponent what do you think 877-377-6963 we'll hear from you when we come back this is arkansas game day live at randall for 5500 rogers avenue in fort smith and it's sassy's red house on college presented by bud light got some curveball whiskey as well you can always listen right here on espn arkansas and hit that line.com you're listening to arkansas game day live at randall ford brought to you by bud light Weekend of college football getting back underway and a huge weekend of car selling going on right now at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Whether you're looking for an F-150 Platinum, whether you're looking for a Subaru Forester with a sports appearance package, how about a Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss package truck? We have those and more priced right just for you. Come by and see us at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith at Randall Ford. Come on along, head for the mountains of bush beer. Head for the mountains, it's cold and it's smooth and it's waiting for you. Come on, head for the mountains of bush beer. Head for the mountains of bush, head for the mountains of bush like me. Enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2022. Anna Bush, Bush, and Bush Live Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. This is Arkansas Game Day. Hi, this is Lindsay White with White Office Machines. For over 90 years, my family's been serving the greater Fort Smith region with the image industry's newest technologies, as well as providing superior customer service through long-term business relationships. As the area's only authorized Kyocera document solutions dealer, White Office Machines provides the best value with high-speed copiers and the latest multifunction printers. Stop by our office in downtown Fort Smith or in Russellville. Follow us on Facebook or go to whiteoffice.com. White Office Machines, since 1929. For 33 years, Manfield's Automotive Parts City Auto Parts has been trusted as your one stop for all your vehicle needs. Get a great deal on a Superstar battery and any of the products you need for the do-it-yourself upkeep on your car or truck. When you need work done, Mansfield Automotive Parts City Auto Parts does everything from oil changes, brakes, alignments, diagnostic work, air conditioning, and more. Mansfield Automotive Parts City Auto Parts in downtown Mansfield is open 8 to 5.30 Monday through Friday and 8 to 1 on Saturdays. Fishing never stops. Make a wake bait and tackle. Has everything from jigs to raincoats. Todd Huckabee crappie rods. Bobby Garland crappie jigs. And stay warm and dry with the River West rain suit. The area's largest selection of Zoom plastics. Flash Mob Jr. Kitek swim baits. Mega Bass rods. Plus rattle traps, life jackets, and rod and reel repair. Find all the top brands and everything you need at Make a wake bait and tackle. One mile east of I-540 on Highway 64. Make a wake bait and tackle. Champion Cycling, located at 5500 Massard Road, is a locally owned bike shop in Fort Smith that wants to help you find the joy in cycling that has been a part of their family for years. Their goal is to find the right bike for you, whether it's a road bike, mountain bike, or just a bike for leisure. Champion Cycling is totally stocked and has a large selection of bikes, including brands from Specialized, Pivot, and Look. Whether it's fixing a flat tire or a basic tune-up, their dependable service department is always ready to help. Stop by Champion Cycling today at 5500 Massard Road and they will help you find your joy in cycling. Van Alma Tire Center is always right around the corner from you with all the major brand tires for you to choose from. Bridgestone, Firestone, Cooper, and more. Turn into Van Alma Tire Center for all your tire needs, alignments, oil changes, brakes, and more with service you can depend on. Van Alma Tire Center is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle and tire needs. Right around the corner at 6805 Alma Highway, 5 miles east of Van Buren, and 2 miles west of Alma. 
Celebrate the end of summer this Labor Day with your favorite beers from Sodi's Wine and Spirits. Sodi's has the biggest selection of cold beer, domestics, imports, and craft beers with over 600 to choose from. Get your Sodi Sixer with six unique craft beers. Sodi's Beer Cave has the biggest and coldest selection of your favorite beers. If you need a keg or fresh growler, Sodi's has you covered. Experience different this Labor Day at Sodi's Wine and Spirits. Phoenix Avenue at I-540 in Fort Smith. Online at MySodi's.com or download the Sodi's app. Some of my fondest childhood memories are from volunteering with my grandmother. Helping others was her passion. She'd always say, the sweetest fruits of life come from serving others. And she was right. At Shelter Insurance, we strive to make a positive impact in the communities where we work and live. Ask Shelter agents Brandon Zimmerman or Chris Dooley about a free insurance review. Cooler weather is on the horizon. If football games and fall festivals are on your list of things to do and places to go, make sure your vehicle's maintenance is up to date first. This is Mark with W&W Automotive. Keeping your car and truck on a seasonal maintenance schedule will ensure better gas mileage, better wear on your tires, and a safer trip wherever you go. To schedule a fall tune-up, call me or Kelly at 242-1600 or drop by W&W just off Townsend on South O in Fort Smith. That's W&W Automotive, a bumper-to-bumper certified shop. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. And it is good! Arkansas wins! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. Right. It's Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith in Sassy's Red House on College. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Jeremy Tissington now with us. Jeremy, it's football, baby. I know you're excited for the Hogs, the Sooners. You got all these things to look forward to this fall, man. I got two words for you guys. Boomer, oh. Sooner. <laughs> hey, hey, we just lost our audience. We're, hey, we're, no, we're glad to have Oklahoma. Are you excited about joining the Power 5 Conference finally? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> man, it's going to be – this right here is why Oklahoma coming to the SEC is going to be so much fun. And, and for those that – I mean, you're right here on the border, you know, with, with us in western Arkansas. People don't understand this dynamic. It's so much fun. I'm just ready to get back to beating Texas A&M. <laughs> oh, here, here. I'm well, okay we, we with that. We can all agree on that. That's something we can all yeah. agree on. So. Hey, what's going on at Randall Ford? I know you got a big Labor Day weekend sale. Well, it's, it's crazy out here, Tommy. We've got 225 used cars on the ground. We've got a really cool truck that we just uh, upfitted. It's the Randall Retro. So if you're really into the 1980s style um, pickup trucks, come check this truck out. It's a one-of-a-kind really cool it's getting a lot of attention on social media we have new cars on the ground new uh we have big broncos raptors mach 1 mustangs we got something to fit everybody's budget what about the bronco you mentioned the broncos jimmy was on earlier he said y'all had uh, marked the prices down for football season and had had the best selection of broncos absolutely we have big broncos on the ground not just the bronco sport but i'm looking at a bronco first edition on the showroom floor a red Bronco Wild Track. We've got a green Bronco uh, Black Diamond. So lots of options on the big Broncos. So if somebody would like to just see one, take one for a spin, come down. We've got them on the ground. You mentioned that first edition. Um, how rare are those? Those, uh, those are, I, from what I've read, are pretty hard to find. Super rare. They were the first run of the Broncos, and they have all of the most desirable options on one vehicle, so it was the only way that you could get it. Um, the one that we have in stock is Cactus Gray, which is probably the most desirable color. Really cool car. If you'd like an opportunity to see one, just swing by. We have one here on the showroom floor. So which, uh, I guess, the Oklahoma game is the one you're most excited <laughs> for. What, what are you jacked up for today besides, I know it's not Arkansas and Cincinnati uh, necessarily. You like the other team in red, so uh, – who are you looking forward to today? Well, you know, it's it's like Barry Switzer said, let's go out and hang a half a hundred on them. So, <laughs> UTEP is probably the team we can do that on, so I'm excited to see that. All right. So, all right, tell us your hours. I know you're there all day today. You're going to be back Labor Day Monday. Give everybody your weekend hours so uh, they can make sure and slide by and see you. We're here all day today. We'll be here till 6 or until the last customer leaves, and then Monday we'll be open from 10 to 5. All right. Solid Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue. Jeremy, we appreciate you having Arkansas game day back out for another season. I think this is 
13 or 14 in a row, 12 or 13, we've been out there in a row at Randall Ford. Yeah, we're glad to be a part of it. All right, uh, Jeremy Tissington, general sales manager at Randall Ford. Guys, it's uh, you know, it's college football when me and Jeremy are talking some smack about the Hogs and the Sooners. So. Got to always have that conversation as the smack talk continues when Clay Henry joins us. I say smack talk. I think Clay is just going to get on, smack me around a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to respond to it all. But Clay's going to join us coming up. We always love to hear what keys he has to the football game each and every week. He's going to share with those with us. If you got a question for Clay, you can call or text in at 877-377-6963. This is Arkansas Game Day live from Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College. 30 more minutes coming up next. Wheels RV wants you to seek out all the natural state has to offer this year. Explore Arkansas in a new RV from Grand Design, Forest River, KZ, Heartland, Keystone, or Alliance. All the best brands at the best prices. Enjoy peace of mind with our lifetime warranty on every new RV and a mobile service shuttle to keep you camping. So come on in and discover why Wheels was voted the best RV dealership in Northwest Arkansas. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV. Big weekend of college football getting back underway and a huge weekend of car selling going on right now at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Whether you're looking for an F-150 Platinum, whether you're looking for a Subaru Forester with a sports appearance package, how about a Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss package truck? We have those and more priced right just for you. Come by and see us at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith at Randall Ford. We've invented a new messaging system using the crisp sounds of Bud Light. Crisp code, lesson 86. This is how you say, G Willikers, it's a hot one. Let's cool down with some Bud Lights. And that's it for today. Bud Light, crisp. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. If you're particular about your lawn, when nothing else matters except those perfectly cut stripes, that is your defining moment when you know you want a Skag Zero Turn mower. Simply the best, hands down. When no other mower will cut it, stop by Alma Tractor and Equipment in Alma and pick out your new Skag Zero Turn mower and be the envy of your neighborhood. Come by today to see the full lineup of Skag Zero Turn mowers at Alma Tractor and Equipment in Alma. Growing up, my parents always encouraged me to do what's right, even if it wasn't easy. I'd always hear my mother's voice say, do the right thing. That stuck with me. Every day, just do the right thing. That's it. The rest takes care of itself. At Shelter Insurance, we believe in doing the right thing for our customers and our communities. Ask shelter agents Brandon Zimmerman or Chris Dooley about a free insurance review. Road Chevrolet Van Buren is hosting their second annual car show. Saturday, September 10th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Right out front on the lot. Hot rods, food truck, giveaways, face painting, and vehicles of all makes and models. This event will be fun for the whole family. Have a cool car or know of someone who does? Call Savannah Neal at 479-474-4000. Road Chevrolet Van Buren, exit 2A off I-540. Prices you'll love, people you can trust. Are you a qualified CDL driver with local or over-the-road experience? Tired of driving older equipment? Not having enough home time? Feel like a number? You need Patriot Transport. Patriot Transport, based in Centerville, with locations in Russellville and Van Buren, provides you with late model equipment, has a family atmosphere, and provides you the opportunity to make $95,000 per year. Patriot Transport works with you to get the miles you want and the family time you need. Change your life today. Visit PatriotTransport.com to apply. That's PatriotTransport.com. When it comes to your vehicle dent repairs, you want a local professional that you can trust. Littleton's Paintless Dent Repair is your place. Michael, his family, and team have been in the community for over 30 years and are the best in the business. When all the other pop-up hail damage places have packed up and left town, Littleton's is still here taking care of your vehicle every day. Stay local. Stay with the best. Stay with the name you know and trust. Littleton's Paintless Dent Repair. Highway 112 off I-540 in Pecola. 
You know that Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment in Fort Smith is your go-to shop for everything pressure washers. But did you know that they also handle your industrial pump and supply needs too? It doesn't stop there. Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment's industrial vacuum trucks can handle dry, liquid, and even sludge removal from several hundred feet away. Leave the cleanup to the professionals. Contact Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment at 782-3762. That's 782-3762. Sunbelt Chemical and Equipment, 3116 Wheeler Avenue in Fort Smith. You never know what you will walk up on or find over the hill at the Tackle Box. For almost 50 years, the Tackle Box has been your home for hunting and fishing supplies and some of the best outdoor stories. Whether guns, ammo, fishing supplies, or home decor, come back and see them again. They even buy your old fishing tackle or guns. The Tackle Box, your sports store for hunting, fishing, firearms, and more. 3010 Street, Fort Smith, 646-3193. The adventure starts at the Tackle Box for sportsmen just like you. KERX Paris Fort Smith. The Bud Light Countdown is on. Arkansas football begins today. This is Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, the fourth oldest Ford dealership in America. Arkansas Game Day is brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Arkansas Athletics. It's going to be elite atmosphere. It's something you dream of as a kid to be able to play in atmospheres like this. It's going to be something great. It's September 3rd, when that ball is set down, I know both teams are ready to go, and I know our squads are ready to go, so just ready to get it on. Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. All right, we're rolling through the 11 o'clock hour on Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith and Sassy's Red House on College where Curveball Whiskey is here. We're also presented by Bud Light. Now, I was telling you all a little bit earlier, the kiss of death is when every college game day picker picks the Razorbacks. But luckily, Tommy's favorite artist, Drew, Jack <laughs> Harlow, picked – Cincinnati Couldn't in the upset. Tell you a song. I was gonna say I will pay you five hundred dollars if you can <laughs> give me one. I'll give Clay a thousand dollars if he can give me one Jack La- Harlow song. No, he's no, because no, he's. I'd give, I was gonna I'd say, give Clay a thousand dollars so he can tell Clay's me what gonna genre of music. Clay's gonna look <laughs> it up because he's gonna cheat. But we're that 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 bet's expired as of now. But right. they he, we have someone that's picked against Arkansas, which is motivation, which is nice. So, so we do have the that. panel was split. Herb Street and Jack Harlow picked Cincinnati. Corso and Desmond picked the Razorbacks. So. Oh man! All oh, the disrespect! Oh. So. Well, here, here's the only pick that does matter. I, I know if y'all follow Laura Rutledge on, on Twitter, you've seen her her daughter Reese do the picks uh, for the last few years, just running towards the helmet. She has picked Arkansas to beat the Bearcats. So Reese Rutledge, uh, Laura's daughter, has picked Arkansas. Bummer. So that's the only one that matters. Well, the the guy that uh, hasn't made the pick, at least on our area, is Clay Henry, who joins us now on his way to the stadium. Uh, Clay, how's your drive in today? It's been great, guys. Enjoy listening to to you guys. Uh, I left Norfolk early and almost to Fayetteville, and I've been entertained. Yeah, I'll, you know, it's like I just have this vision of me going to Randall Ford and getting in one of those. What do they call it? The the big Broncos. I didn't know there was yeah. a big one and a that, little one. That first edition. That that's the one you want. So. Uh... Well, you've yeah. always you've always written the keys to the game. You always had a dozen or so, or somewhere around there. Uh, as you're driving in to, today, what what do you think are the two or three most important things for the Razorbacks to pull off a season opening win? Well, there's a lot of them, obviously. You know, the football is the ultimate team game with 22 guys out there at one time, plus you know special teams. So you, you know it's there's a lot of places where it can either go right or go wrong, uh, but I think the number one thing that, and then this is this is oversimplifying it, but it's the game of football and it's who wins at the line of scrimmage, and I think both of these teams have coaches that pride themselves in being hard nosed, physical at the line of scrimmage, and I I know that uh, that's what Sam Pittman is is wanted to do. And, uh, I know Luke Bickle's background is a defensive coordinator, a defensive coach, played nose guard. Um, 
it would make sense that that's the way he builds his team, and it's been evident that that he does. Um, and then I, I think I would I would uh, kind of go to that defensive line for Arkansas and see if they can uh, you know, they they can hold up without having to have run blitzes things to support them that they they can go nose to nose with an experienced offensive line. And, you know, we 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 know that. Arkansas has talent in that defensive line, and uh, I'm really interested to see how the two ends play, and that's Zach Williams and Deshaun Stewart. Not a lot of talk about Deshaun Stewart, but I think he's the guy that turned heads in the spring and throughout the summer and fall camp with Deke Adams, the new defensive line coach, how hard he plays and how he sets the tone for the rest of the defensive line. and is uh, probably a quiet leader because of effort, and that that's a good way to lead. And I, I think that, you know, we we uh, we kind of judge harshly on some of these defensive line guys because they haven't been in the forefront. They haven't been uh, regular starters. But Isaiah Nichols, and Eric Gregory, and Zach Williams, and Deshaun Stewart, I think they're good players. You mentioned uh, Jashad Stewart, Clay. That's a Miss Lisa favorite, Jonesboro out there. I know she's really excited to to see him later on today as listed as the depth chart as number one. I was asking Tommy when that depth chart came out a little earlier this week about surprises. Did anything on the depth chart stand out to you in terms of you thought this guy was going to be in the one slot? And kind of like Tommy was saying, it's not exactly you don't start where you – you don't have to necessarily start where you're in, but anything stand out to you when that initial depth chart was released? Not really. Um, pretty much the way I thought it would be, and it's the way they've been lining up. I watched two full practices, so you you got an idea that this is the these are the starters. So that that didn't surprise me. Uh, if if I had been out of the loop and, and hadn't really noticed, uh, you know, Matt Landers. Uh, his ability and his stature, uh, the way Warren Thompson has, has elevated his play over the year, you would for sure know that Jaden Hazelwood would uh, be the starter someplace, maybe not slot. Uh, thought he might be outside, but looks like Kendall Browse likes to have maybe his best guy uh, in that slot, which is the shortest, easiest pass to make. Uh, it's also the guy that you can get to the quarter, get back to the quarterback and run reverses and some other things. You know, be creative in how you get that guy the ball. Uh, I, I think the the thing that probably uh, wasn't a surprise because I knew after the spring that's the direction they were going to go is Miles Slusher at nickel, and he played so well at safety, but he he's one of those Swiss Army knives that can play corner, nickel, or safety and can he have uh, a breakout year? And I think that's uh, that might be a key to watch and you know how things go there. And then uh, you, know, I, you keep wondering how they keep you know Tykeus Crawford off the field. You know, but I don't think he's going to be off the field today. I think he'll roll in there with Dalton Wagner. I think he's a really good uh, kind of key part that you could. It enables you to be really multiple in how you slide guys around the offensive line. You would get an injury because he can play right tackle, right guard. Limmer can play left guard. Uh, Lathan can play left tackle. Luke Jones can can play center. Uh, they, they've they've just got a lot of you know multiple parts to that top six in the offensive line, which makes that a strength of the team. Yeah. Clay, if you were writing a lead later today, if you had to project a lead, if that was what you were doing, as you've done for so many years, would Will we be talking about K.J. and running the ball to win today, or will we be talking about K.J. and how he passed the ball to a Razorback victory? Well, in the RPO, the defense really decides that, and I don't know how uh, Cincinnati's going to play. If you go back to the college football playoff against Alabama, they have those uh, first-round picks at cornerback, yet they played their safeties deep. Will they do that? And if they do, that means Arkansas is going to be running the ball and Rocket Sanders is going to have a big day or uh, Rashad DeBinion or A.J. Green. You know, maybe even, you know, 
uh, KJ Jefferson gets some run in place. But if they bring those safeties up, then I think that means uh, uh, KJ has a big day throwing in Warren Thompson, and some of those guys are going to get some balls over the top against those inexperienced cornerbacks. But if I'd have my guess, they're going to play sound on defense, and they're going to play uh, those safeties back, and they're going to make Arkansas drive the ball like they did Alabama. And I think Arkansas can do that. Uh, I think that lead that I would come up with would be that we have momentum and confidence now after an Arkansas victory. I think that would be the key thing is that last year was not a one-time flash in the pan that Sam Pittman has momentum. That's if Arkansas wins. And if they don't, that lead might be just the opposite. What do we have? Do we have some question marks going forward? That's the way I would lay it out four hours out. All right. Clay, enjoy the game today, and we'll uh, catch up next week after Labor Day and break it all down. Okay, I don't have a role today. I'm just watching. I don't have anything to do. I'm not writing. I won't be writing the lead after this game. It's interesting that you ask. I hadn't thought about what I'm going to write because I don't even have a laptop. <laughs> It'll be weird for you today, but uh, glad to talk to you. Enjoy the game. We'll uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, thanks, Ty. Thanks, Drew. Always good to have with us on Arkansas game day. Talking about K.J. Jefferson, Drew, Tommy, my brother spent $180 on K.J. Jefferson gear yesterday. He's the bell of the ball. He's going to be the one that most fans and and everyone in that stadium, even on the opposite end, are intrigued to watch later on today. I mean, do you have is Brandon Allen the last quarterback that's had as much hype heading? And I don't even know. I think he exceeds Brandon, to be honest, even in 2015. There's a lot of people, not just locally but nationally, that want to watch K.J. Jefferson at 2.30 today. You don't think it's Cole Kelly? You know what, the Louisiana <laughs> – you know what, Tommy? The Louisiana Steamboat, he, uh, he, he, he definitely raised some eyebrows when he got it there at 6'5 or 6'6, whatever he was. <laughs> you remember he told me that he was the real – I remember sitting with that Ooh. guy – at Arkansas Media Sorry, Day, I said it. <laughs> and he had the gall to tell me that he was the real one five. I asked him, "Who's the, who's the better one between you and Ryan?" And he's like, "Ryan was a good quarterback, but I'm the real one five. And I looked at that guy, and I just like, "Okay, dude, you know what? You you think that all you want? He had a he had a good time at what is it, Southeastern Louisiana State, but." Yeah, he was no Ryan Mallett. Well, clearly the best quarterback since Brandon Allen. I don't think there's any doubt about that. No no disrespect to Austin Allen, but Brandon was the better of the two. And I think KJ, uh, that's an interesting conversation. I think you can even go back. There are different styles of quarterbacks comparing to Mallett or, or Tyler Wilson, who uh, you know certainly didn't have the, the legs and the, uh, the ability to run at will and be a willing runner the way KJ is. KJ is the... Uh, the most willing runner quarterback. And to me, the only one you can compare is Brandon. And I think about that two-point conversion to win the game at Ole Miss. I think uh, I think about uh, uh, Matt Jones, who was featured on Chuck Barrett's first uh, Give Me the Hogs Chuck podcast. Those are the uh, the three that come to mind for me. And then before that, you probably got to go back to, uh, you know, maybe Quinn Grovey to find the, the willing runners at quarterback. But it was certainly a different era in the late 80s uh, in the way a quarterback ran his offense. I'm sure – Quinn sees a little bit of himself and KJ Jefferson at, at some points. And last time you won back to back conference championships when your analyst, Quinn Grovey, was playing back in the day. 877 377 6963. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day live from Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, and at Sassy's Red House on college presented by Bud Light. Also got some curveball whiskey that's getting passed around here as well. Stay with us. We've got one more segment coming up. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. Wheels RV wants you to seek out all the natural state has to offer this year. Explore Arkansas in a new RV from Grand Design, Forest River, KZ, Heartland, Keystone, or Alliance. All the best brands at the best prices. Enjoy peace of mind with our lifetime warranty on every new RV and a mobile service shuttle to keep you camping. So come on in and discover why Wheels was voted the best RV dealership in Northwest Arkansas. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek X. Explore Discover with Wheels RV. Big weekend of college football getting back underway and a huge weekend of car selling going on right now at Randall Ford, 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. 
whether you're looking for an F-150 Platinum, whether you're looking for a Subaru Forester with a sports appearance package, how about a Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss package truck? We have those and more priced right just for you. Come by and see us at 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith at Randall Ford. This is Arkansas Game Day. Why do people love Shamrock Liquor Warehouse? Simple. They've got it all. 70 years in business, 15,000 square feet of choices. They buy in volume so you can save. What else? How about the largest selection of everything? Shamrock's got it. Special orders? Shamrock's got it. Convenient drive through open six days a week? Shamrock's got it. Need a keg for your party? Shamrock's got it. Load up at Shamrock Liquor Warehouse at the corner of Midland and Riverfront Drive in Fort Smith. Before you buy that next car or truck, stop by Broadway Motors in Van Buren. The best of the best for two straight years. Michael and his team offer the best prices on the best quality pre-owned vehicles in the River Valley. They invite you to stop by and check it out for yourself. Or if you prefer to check out their inventory online or even do your financing online. Michael has built his reputation as a husband, father, and owner-operator since 2006. Broadway Motors, 806 Broadway in Van Buren or online at broadwaymotorsar.com. Do you have concerns about the integrity of your roof? Liberty Roofing of Fort Smith and the surrounding area is here and ready to serve you. Liberty Roofing is here for all your roofing needs. Quality roofing services, licensed, insured, and certified. Give Liberty Roofing a call at 650-6231 to get started for a free roof inspection and estimate. Call 650-6231. Liberty Roofing is here to tend to all your roofing needs. Let Liberty Roofing cover you. Check us out on Facebook. When it comes to your vehicle dent repairs, you want a local professional that you can trust. Littleton's Paintless Dent Repair is your place. Michael, his family, and team have been in the community for over 30 years and are the best in the business. When all the other pop-up hail damage places have packed up and left town, Littleton's is still here taking care of your vehicle every day. Stay local. Stay with the best. Stay with the name you know and trust. Littleton's Paintless Dent Repair. Highway 112 off I-540 in Pacoma. Hola. Late breaking news. Central Hydraulics has teamed up with Wacker Newson to meet your ever-growing equipment needs. Wacker Newson offers loaders, excavators, skid steers, telehandlers, and more. Central Hydraulics is also your Gates Hydraulic Hose Center. Stop by today at 6104 Highway 271 South in Fort Smith. Central Hydraulics, helping you move the world. What do you get when you pull into Tony's Tire Service? You get the best selection of tires for any car, truck, or commercial vehicle. Tony's Tire Service has Cooper Tires and is ready to serve you to get you back on the road safely. They'll also get your vehicle fixed with brake replacements plus an alignment with the best repair guy in the area. Tony's Tire Service has been serving the River Valley for over 34 years. Come let our guys replace your tires with Cooper Tires and our service department to make sure the vehicle has the best brakes and alignments. Tony's Tire Service, 7200 South 28th Street in Fort Smith. Service you can depend on. Wave Rural Connect has opened their Lutherville zone, serving Hagerville, Knoxville, Lamar, and Ross areas with fiber internet starting at $49.95 a month. TV and phone service available too. Sign up now and the $100 install fee is being waived. Call 833-492-8372 or go online to signup.waveruralconnect.com and get the best customer service available and the fastest internet from Wave. Arkansas Valley Electric Cooperative and Wave Rural Connect, changing the communities we serve. Ride with Without compromise, CF Moto's brand new U-Force 1000 XL with two three-person bench seats to haul more rear ends as you haul butt. Auto Finders and Adventure Oklahoma has the perfect CF Moto for any road you choose. Get some serious mud on the tires with aluminum rims, custom paint, power steering, and a 3,000-pound winch. No wonder the CF Moto is Auto Finders' best-kept dirty little secret. Ride without compromise at Auto Finders and Adventure Oklahoma in Roland. Visit a complete list of inventories online at autofindersok.com. Your search ends here. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to Arkansas Game Day Live at Randall Ford, brought to you by Bud Light. And it is good! Arkansas wins! Call or text the program at 877-377-6963. 
All right, last segment here of Arkansas Game Day. Really appreciate Randall Ford, Bud Light, Sassy's Red House, and Curveball Whiskey for being a part of the inaugural show of the 2022 season. Now, Tommy, we've talked a lot of Arkansas football to this point. We talked a little college football playoff expansion earlier. Let's talk about some of these games later on today outside of Arkansas Cincinnati. You got a few games going on right now. Number six, Texas A&M scoreless with Sam Houston. That game about five minutes in. Number eight, Michigan scoreless with Colorado State. Number 13, North Carolina State uh, scoreless just a few minutes in against NC State. So all of those, the first wave of games, not much happening yet in the top 25. 2.30, we know the Razorbacks play. That's where our focus will be. Maybe you got a little bit of an eye over on Oregon, number 11 of the country, traveling down between the hedges to take on number three, Georgia. That game's at 2.30. We talked about Oklahoma earlier. They take on UTEP at 2.30. Uh, Miami takes on Bethune-Cookman. And then also in the top 25 at 2.30, Houston and UT San Antonio uh, in that 2.30 wave. Ole Miss is at 3 o'clock on the SEC Network against Troy. And then another game you might keep an eye on in the top 25 is BYU, who Arkansas will play in middle October. They take on South Florida today down in Florida. That's at 3 o'clock. Later on tonight, I think one of the more intriguing games from the SEC, number seven Utah traveling to the Swamp to take on Florida. Huge start to the season for uh, for Florida and the Gators under new coach Billy Napier as uh, they'll take on the Utes tonight, the, uh, the top ten team. Your dad's Baylor Bears tonight. They take on Albany. Uh, on ESPN Plus, Baylor ranked 10th in the country. They're favored by 42 and a half. The over/under is 45 and a half. I give my dad always a hard time. They play bums every year to open. Yeah. It. They've never played a good opening team to start the year but, ever. But think about what I just said. Over/under 45 and a half. The line is 42 and a half. They're not counting on Albany to score much today <laughs> in that ball nope. game. Number 18, Wisconsin plays Illinois State. That's tonight at six o'clock. Also, number 20, Kentucky takes on Miami of Ohio. Top-ranked Alabama against Utah State at 6.30 tonight. And the other big game tonight, number two, Ohio State, number five, Notre Dame, one of the two kind of uh, blockbuster games of the day, along with the Razorbacks and Cincinnati. That's at 2.30. You can hear the game right here where you're listening now on ESPN Arkansas. So we got a good full slate of games. And also, just a reminder, your pre- and post-game coverage continues later on after the conclusion of of Arkansas and Cincinnati. Not only will you, will you get to hear some analysis from Chuck and Quinn and Phil and all the rest of the guys, but you'll get to hear it from Tommy, Derek, and Drew as well on Hog Reaction. So a full slate of day right here on ESPN Arkansas at hitthatline.com. And maybe you're out of Arkansas and you can't – well, you can listen. Always on Facebook, always on YouTube, always on Twitter, and always on Twitch as well. Tommy, I would guess that you're going to be – we're going to probably get a few more calls – and text tonight based on what happens in this game later on today. Just depends on how the game goes. I mean, uh, you know, when, when it's a close finish or a controversial finish, uh, there's not enough phone lines in the building uh, to handle all the, <laughs> uh, the, the hog reaction. So, I, you know, if, if KJ looks good today, the defense looks solid enough, and people leave the stadium with hope, um, you know, it may, it may not be the reaction you, you, you think for, for a radio show, but – you know, if things don't go well, sometimes that draws a different reaction. So it's all going to depend today, Drew, on how these uh, how these Razorbacks debut the 22 season. Yeah, it's going to depend uh, a, a lot, and it's uh, it's going to be I, I think it's going to be an interesting post game show, regardless of the way that it goes. Well, hopefully, we all want it to be an Arkansas win, but this is going to be I think the best matchup of, of the entire day. It's not Notre Dame Ohio State, the first top five matchup of the game, because I mean you just look at Vegas. Vegas doesn't put. Uh, a 17 and a half point line on a top five te- top five matchup if they don't think it's going to be uh, a barn burner type of game. So with with this matchup with Arkansas and Cincinnati, it's all going to be about who controls. I think the possession. I think whoever has the the ball the longest can tr- control the the tempo of the game and and really get their run game established first. Not just going, but established uh, is going to be the winner of, the, uh, of this ball game in Fayetteville. Notre Dame's going to get run out of the horseshoe at night. That game's not going to be close. They're throwing a guy in there that has never seen an atmosphere or defense like that. They're going to get housed. I think this Arkansas game's probably close till the fourth quarter. Now, one last little tidbit of information. If you have not listened to the Gimme the Hawk, did you hear Patricia at 520 yesterday, Tommy? I did not. I was getting uh, ready for she, a game. She brought it, man. She brought it. If you have not listened to the Gimme the Hogs Chuck podcast presented by Weikert Realtors, the Griffin Company. You 
need to. He did. He, Chuck's always going to say, oh, it was, it was just a it – was, it was my first one. No, he brought the wood yesterday. So just search hitthatline.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. Chuck brought it and is going to bring it on Monday at 6 a.m. as well, guys. Yeah, so we'll have Chuck's thoughts and reaction to all the uh, – the things that unfold this afternoon, he'll have the play-by-play call coming up at 2.30 today. So, looking forward to that. Just, guys, looking forward to the to the season getting underway. Looking forward to getting back to the house. I got a, uh, a pork butt on the smoker. I know you got some great barbecue there at Sassy's. I oh, mean, it's, yeah. It's, it's just a good day, man. Yeah, it's a great day. Christmas. I've, I've already had uh, some curveball barbecue whiskey. I'm about to uh, divulge into some ribs, some wings, and whatever else uh, – Alan and Jeff here at Sassy's Red House are willing to part ways smoked with. Smoked wings there, man. That's the uh, that's the ticket. The honey sriracha smoked wings. They are the truth. See, Blake, have a good day, man. Yeah, we've had a bunch of people stop by already here at Sassy's Red House on college as well as Randall Ford 5500 Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. People are just excited. They're excited to see us again out on location. Tommy, for football games, they're excited about what's going to transpire at 2.30 today. you got to do it at quarterback. Anytime you have a quarterback like the size, sat, stature, and, and stout of K.J. Jefferson, you got a chance to win football games. Chuck's been preaching it all week. When you feel like you step foot onto that field today, you feel like you can win the game. That's what K.J. provides. It's not just K.J., it's the rest of that team. But, man, oh, man, football is back, and it is good to be here, Tommy. Yeah, I can't wait, and uh... – Again, we're back after the game, so as you're driving home, wherever you're uh, headed back to or you're hanging there at your tailgate near the stadium, uh, tune us in, 99.5 in Northwest Arkansas, 95.3 in the River Valley, 96.3 in Southwest Arkansas, 104.3. If you're heading 412 towards Harrison and Mountain Home, we'll be here at always at hitthatline.com. For Drew Barrett, for Tommy Kraft, I'm Ty Richardson. Again, coverage all day long right here on ESPN Arkansas and hit that line.com. You can call or text in hog reaction 877-377-6963. Coming up next, Phil Elson gets us going with the Learfield pregame show. Are you looking for a great deal on a previously owned vehicle but want to avoid high pressure sales?